Hello and welcome to Simple Term Living. My name is Desiree and for those of you who are brand new, thank you for coming to my channel. Go ahead and subscribe and press that bell notification to let you know when more of my videos come out. For those of you who are coming back, welcome again. Today I will be showing you swatches and review these brand new SE can't even see them. <laughs> These Essie Originals Remixed, and I am missing one. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. These are the Essie Originals Remixed, and they are six of their classic shades that they decided to revamp a little bit and add a little pizzazz to it. I purchased mine at Ulta. I can link them down below if you're interested in getting them. On the brush part, they do have these little designs as well as on the front of the bottle they do have it too so I think that is super cute but let's go ahead and talk about the actual polishes so the first polish is ballet sneakers and this is supposed to be a remix of ballet slipper ballet sneakers is a full coverage pink with blue undertones and a soft matte finish nail polish the original one was a classic pale pink nail polish with a sheer finish the next color that I will be looking at is Satin Slip. Satin Slip is supposed to be a remix of Angora Cardi. Satin Slip is a soft rose tone nail polish with a sheer finish. And for Angora Cardi, it was a creamy, dusty rose nail polish. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a jelly just because it is sheer. The next one is Like a Rebel, and this is supposed to be a remix of Ladylike. Like a Rebel is a neutral mauve nail polish with an electrifying gold pearl, so it does have a shimmer to it and ladylike is a soft neutral nail polish with mauve undertones and it is considered a cream so you will see them next to each other here and you can see that they do have similarities like a rebel does have those gold shimmers mixed into it but they both kind of have that same color scheme going the next one i have here is below zero below zero is supposed to be a remix of smoke and hot and below zero is a smoky gray with purple undertones nail polish with a dazzling icy finish and smoking hot is a smoky gray with purple undertones so you can definitely tell the difference between the two I think Below Zero is actually really neat because it does have that blue icicle kind of look to it. It makes it very icy and it just seems very cool. Literally. <laughs> Pun intended. The next one is Berry Nice and this is a remix of Berry Naughty. And Berry Nice is a bright and shimmering berry hue nail polish. So it does have a shimmer to it. The original Berry Naughty is a creamy deep luscious berry nail polish which was a cream. This one does seem to have a bit of that fuchsia mixed with red so it does have that berry-esque color. And then last but not least, we have Wicked Fierce. And Wicked Fierce is supposed to be a remix of Wicked. And Wicked Fierce is a deep, dark, black and red nail polish with a mysterious duochrome finish. So it is on the shimmery side as well. Wicked is a deep, dark, black and red nail polish, which is a cream. So the only difference that they added was the duochrome, but it is the same exact color. Wicked to me seems a little bit not so much of a red, but it was more of a burgundy, which I guess still falls on the red side, but it is a beautiful fall color and I loved it for fall and winter. And here is both of them side by side so you can get an idea of what both were like. I hope you enjoyed this quick swatches of the Essie Originals Remixed collection. I think it was really cool that they brought back all of these shades into like a revamp, revamping the old original shades to 2020 and giving it that little bit of kick to it, I guess. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and like it with a thumbs up. If you would like to watch more of my videos, go ahead and click that subscribe button and that bell notification to let you know when new videos are coming out to you. And of course, if you always want to talk to me, you can leave a comment down below and we will chit chat there. Go ahead and follow my Instagram account as well. I will post it down below so you can take a look at it, but it will also be right here for you. See you all later. Bye.